Hey, uh, doing another video here. Uh, it's been a little bit since we did our last one. Um, I don't remember how long it's been, maybe two or three weeks. I'm not sure. Um, so we finished our class and we started a new class and we're kind of doing something a little different that we we're starting kind of today, tomorrow. So that's why I kind of want to do a video so I can kind of look back on this and kind of look at my mind state, see how successful we are, stuff like that. So, um, few things. So we're going to show my grade. Uh, we're going to go over my class. I'm in now all that stuff. Uh, we're going to go over physical stuff, financial stuff. Um, just where I'm at mentally, all that kind of shit. You know what I mean? Just like stuff that's happened, things that are going on socially and like work and all that kind of stuff. So we've had some really big changes, uh, happen. So really kind of cool video, I think, uh, to kind of go over some of that stuff. We'll kind of go over some negative things. Uh, we'll go over like stuff. I don't know. We'll just kind of make it a little bit mixed bag. So we'll kind of go over the first thing. Um, oh yeah, I got some new scents also. So no, probably not a big surprise. I'm actually going to be done for a while buying new colognes because right now we're just kind of focused on stuff, but we'll get to that. Anyways, um, let's do our grade and let's do a scent. Let's do a scent and let's just get the shit I bought out of the way. Actually, that makes more sense. Um, I don't even know what I bought, but I know, I think I bought two, but I'm only going to show this one, I think, because I don't remember the other one, or I only got one that I remember. So we got Armani, Giorgio Armani, or is this Emporio Armani, but it's still Giorgio, Stronger With You, Intensely. Now, the cap on this is so fucking cool, it only clicks in one way. Um, this is like... I don't even know how to explain it. It's it's like almost like I don't know, just like a sexy version of the by the fireplace I have um, by Mason Francis or uh, Mason Marzilla uh, replica uh, by the fireplace that I have. It's almost in the same ballpark as that, but this is like a sexier fucking I don't even know version of that like a sexy version of that like you could go on a date with the you can't really go on a date with that that's more like a comfy kind of like yeah you smell good kind of sweet you know, like in the winter kind of vibe this is like that but like hey you're on a date like I don't know it's like a cuddle sexy date vibe I don't know fucking awesome um go over our grade some more shit we bought um so like money wise Shit. Dude, I waste so much fucking money. It's stupid shit. Um, so I paid all my bills ahead of time. Um, and then I bought, for things I bought, obviously I bought the cologne. I got these earbuds. So let's wait till this thing's turning on real quick. I gotta take the keypad off this thing. Um, but let's, uh, so last time I tried to show my grade on the fucking phone and I was like, just I can't do it. So. Anyways, I ended up getting this, this Galaxy Bud Pro 2? Two? 2? Two? Yeah. So I had the 1s. I traded my original ones in, and I got the 2s. So they look very similar. These are just like, these are the old ones. These are the new ones. They're a little more of a matte finish. They're a little lighter. Uh, the sound's a little better. Uh, the case, again, is matte. Not a huge difference. So I wouldn't say it's like the greatest use of my money, but I want, I'm like I said, I wanted to have these ones are more for like, I keep them out in the living room and I use them for like with TV or like when I'm doing homework or some shit, like I'll plug these in. These are mostly just like the new ones are mostly pretty much the gym and when I'm at work. When I'm at work doing homework, because I need like crazy shit, these are more like sitting at the, sitting on the couch on the living room. So they're more like, out there or like whatever, like when I need just random pair around the house. Um, either way, uh, nice purchase. Um, anyways, finally get a fucking use of this laptop other than watching fucking chess on it all day. Um, on the subject of chess, um, holy shit. Like I've raised my uh, rating up. And so there's three kinds of things you can do. There's bullet which is under like one minute or under. Uh, then there's blitz, which is five minutes and under. So it's like three minutes, five minutes. So, and then you have like what's called rapid, which is 
like 10 to 30 minutes, pretty much. Um, I raised my rating in every single time limit. Um, so I play one minute, three minute and 10. So like 10 is like more like I'm being comfortable, whatever. Either way, who the fuck cares? Either way, I raised my rating up. Um, in two of them, I went 100 points up. So in the three minute, I went 150 points up. In 10 minute, I think I went 120 points up. And then in the one minute, uh, I think I went up, I don't know, like 50 points, I think. Either way. Um, let's go over the grades real quick because I'm kind of like all over the place with all this shit. Canvas student. So we finished our grade. Um, fuck. Anyways, you can see all my grades here. So this was college reading strategies. Oh my God, don't fuck up on here. Also, college, I don't know if you can even see it. College reading strategies. I got 99.88. You can see my other classes too. 99 even. I'm in English comp, comp right now. And then you can see business and academic success, 99.1. Computer literacy, 99 or 92.62. actually rounded up to a 93 for my GPA. Um, not the best, but I was like, like I said, I had a lot of distractions, a lot of life stuff going on. So there's a reason why, even though I probably could have got 100% on that class, uh, I don't know about 100, probably got 98 or 99 also. But that's my fault. Um, I have nobody to blame but myself. But I was just in a weird place in life. So um either way let's go over other purchase stuff um and then we'll get into life and all that bullshit and then i kind of talk about why what i'm changing here um uh, one second there's some shit um oh yeah purchases more shit all right so David ended up picking this up for the household, which is kind of nice. So, let's check it out. so look, looks very similar uh, to the one. So it's Daniel Defense, uh, the M4, just the standard M4 uh, version. Uh, it comes with one clip, obviously. And then, so you'd see the difference. Uh, and this says the green tips. So this looks almost uh, almost identical to the model I have here. Um, and then it's got the Trigicon red dot on the front. I don't have it turned on, though. But... So anyways, check this out. Pretty cool. Um, you can kind of see. Look at the handrail here. It's kind of a fatter one, like a little thicker uh, one there. And then you can kind of see the other one here. So you can kind of see, because we'll talk about crazy shit that's going on in the world and all that crazy bullshit. Um, but anyways, look. You can see this one. I don't know if you can tell the thickness just from looking at these. But you can see how much thinner this one is. Like this is my carry one for my room and all that. And this one's a little thicker. So side by side. Kind of very, very similar builds. Um, this one just got, like I said, a fatter kind of deal on it. Um, it's got the same uh, birdcage on the end. Um, flash hider, whatever the hell you call it. Um, obviously, I mean, everything, just really just this part's the main difference. It's got a different grip on it. So it changed the grip out. It's got a pistol grip. I like this grip that I have, the rubber Daniel Defense grip. Um, yeah, either way, I can get too far into this. Not that cool. Uh, oh, yeah, and then I got the green dot. Check it out. You ever heard green green tips? Better armor penetration, all that kind of bullshit. Um, yeah. Boom. Always fun. Uh, one second here. Sorry. <laughs> like so much shit. Oh my god. All right. I'm almost done with all the shit. I bought more shit. I had to pay for a ticket, honestly, also. So that's some more money. Um, I bought a chessboard, uh, like this really nice blood 
wood, blood wood, and some other shit. Uh, blood wood, like ivory. I don't even know what the hell I was made out of. But anyways, it's like a hundred bucks. Got that, and I got a sweet chest hat coming. So I'll show you that next time when that comes in. Uh, sorry about this. So this is. God damn it. Gosh damn it. Yeah, I thought I was ready to go. Oh. So I bought a few games. I'm not going to go mega far into it, but super exciting. So I got two things. Oh, we got Doom. Well, that's not what we bought, but what the fuck am I doing? Oh my god, dude. So we bought, we've been playing Hades. But actually, this is the one I want to show. Dude, it's like too bright. Like, I can't deal with it. Anyways, what the fuck? Cuphead. There you go. Oh, there it is. Hey, look. Check it out. Cuphead. So I've been wanting to play this. This is like got a classic like 19, like 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s kind of like cartoon vibe to it. So really highly rated, super difficult fucking game, by the way, uh, in case you haven't played this shit before. Uh, but anyways, this also I bought, oh my God, something else I bought. I bought this deck for this. So this is called the Steam Deck. Oh, I bought the dock for it, sorry. So I bought a dock for it. So I'll be able to like, kind of like the Nintendo Switch has a dock. I'll be able to plug it into my TV. Also, I'll be able to plug my laptop into it and kind of connect it to whatever monitor I want. It'll have a display port, all kinds of shit on it. I don't really want to get far into that because I don't think a lot of people know what the fuck any of that means. But anyways, basically I'll be able to, pop this on a little stand and it'll connect to my TV and I'll be able to play like with my PlayStation controller I Can also take it to work and like plug a monitor, plug it into a monitor and just play it on like a monitor. Like this monitor right here, the dock will just be able to have a display port to plug into it. I'll have an ethernet port, uh, all kinds of cool shit. But really just the main part is the display port, the HDMI plug in USB-C. So really you'll just kind of be able to pop it in, take it with me. So if I go to like a hotel or go on a trip, I can take this with me pop it in the little dock, kind of like, again, like a Nintendo Switch in a way, just way more versatile than a fucking Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch has an HDMI port. You basically have to HDMI it in, it goes to a TV, whatever. Also, this can play like any computer game, it has Linux, uh, you can dual install Windows on it, whatever. Anyways, you can get emulators and all kinds of stuff. Um, so I'm gonna be getting into that, I'm gonna be changing the boot up screen on this. Uh, I'm gonna be getting deep diving into like coding and all kinds of shit over the next year. So I'm going to be putting an emulator on here probably this winter when I get really, really bored out of my mind. Um, and I'll be able to play like, you'll be able to play Nintendo games like Breath of the Wild, whatever, you know, you get the idea, whatever it is. Um, this doesn't do it justice because A, I think the brightness just doesn't pick up very well on here. But anyways, mega fucking cool. Um, this thing has been fucking awesome. Um, been getting more into reading. Sorry, I'm shutting this thing down. Where did I get this thing from? Oh, yeah, let's do the scent. I want to spray the scent on real quick. Um, What the fuck am I doing? Oh, my God, I have more shit. Jesus Christ, man. forgot. So I've been having an issue uh, doing my piano lessons uh, at night because most of the time I do them at night, and my neighbor's, like, right next door, obviously. Um, I don't care about watching TV and, like, really doing anything. But for some reason, I have a feeling the piano like creeps through the wall and all that shit. So um, I ended up getting this. Actually, I'll play a little piano while I'm up here. Uh, um, I did learn a new little jig, uh, like Elvis kind of vibe or whatever. Um, oh, yeah, I bought this. So I bought the little port thing. Oh, my God. Oh, this thing. This little connector because I had to. I tried to get my Bose ones in there, but I don't have the right size. So I had to return. I bought the wrong size wire. So I'm having to use this until I'm going to buy another wire to fit. It's too big of a wire, but then I have to plug this in the back. And then I'm using these headphones for now. These little beats. These are so old school. Like these were the coolest thing ever like 10 years ago. Now like they're trash. But um, I like them. I like these ones at least. But I like black matte vibe. Um, yeah, let's check this out. Let's play a little jig for my, my buddies out here. Um, so this, I'm just going to play the R Lee. So the melody was made into a popular love song, Love Me Tender, sung by Elvis Presley. How cool is that, right? 
um, watch me fuck this song up somehow because I really haven't like guaranteed learned every, everything about it. What is the CFE? All right, one second. Yeah, that's very simple, right? Wouldn't you think? Um, I didn't think it was that crazy. I don't know how loud this is. I've been doing all my other stuff. You probably heard all the other shit I've been doing. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's fucking stupid. Um, obviously, we have the main jig we've always done, you know, the. piano lessons than usual and I think that's it for purchases so yeah that was long that was way too long actually um way too long for the purchase stuff um anyways let's get some water and then we'll kind of go into the work thing the big life change hmm. oh yeah let's do the sense so you're in good mood ah it's so fucking sweet oh my god Uh, man, I missed. Oh my god, I got double spray now. Whatever, I gotta make it equal. Equal. Okay, this is like really strong. I maybe shouldn't have done like two, four sprays. Oh shit, like leaking off. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, but anyways, this I on a one to ten scale. Personally, I think this is above a nine. I think it's like a nine point two. Almost want to give it a nine point five, but I don't want to give too high scores. Oh, I love this fucking smell, man! It's like fucking winter, fall, like sexiness. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's talk about work. So um, the last time I was on here, I hadn't shaved. I hadn't really been sleeping at all. Like I haven't been doing anything. So um, yeah, this last week I actually took off of work. Um, I missed two days of pay. Um, but the rest of it paid. I had been saving at my PTO, so I did a bunch of overtime. And we actually took my work. My work is taking all the tech care reps, and we're all going to work on the same community. So you have us, and then you have another team. So we have two teams of tech agents, uh, and we're split up kind of, but we have different coaches. But we're, like, in our own community now. We have our own, like, shit now. So super cool. Um, I had a thing going on at work, like, when we were moving desks. I saw this one desk that was like gorgeous. It was an amazing desk. It had its own little spot. I could do my homework. Everything is so clean and new. Everything's so much different than it used to be there, where it was like garbage and like built in little pods and shit. Like now we, everybody has their own individual desk that goes up and down. The, the monitors are new. Like everything just looks better there now than it used to. But anyways, I saw this desk and it was right by the window and I was like, Man, and I was like one of the first people over there. And I was like, they were trying to set me in this piece of shit desk to like share with somebody. And I was like, nah, I didn't really want to, I wasn't really feeling that all that much. So I went to the guy and I was like, hey, like, is there any way I could have this other desk and you could just swap me with the person? Because there was already somebody assigned to the desk I wanted. And he was like, oh, I don't know if I can do that. You know what I mean? So blah, blah, blah. You know, I bitch and complain kind of about it. I mean, I didn't really, it wasn't like, I didn't like go to anybody and like, oh, like mad. I was just like, hey, like, you know, I'd like to switch desk with this other person. You know what I mean? Like, we're, they don't even know, right? I'm like, you know, I like this other desk more. And they had my schedule down wrong, so I shouldn't have been sharing the desk with this chick anyways. Um, but long story short, I got the desk I wanted. And on top of it, I don't really want to get too far into it, but I'm sitting kind of next to somebody. I don't really know how to explain it, so I'm not going to explain it. Um, but I'm kind of sitting next to somebody. Uh, yeah, that's really all I have to say about it. Um, but you know, I told myself like, you know, I wasn't going to do like the online, you know, stuff and all that shit. And I wasn't going to like 
force me thing or whatever, but you know what I mean? Like you can't really help it if you're meeting people, you know, at the grocery store or work or the gym and all that kind of stuff. So that's more like an organic experience. And for me, um, I don't know. I'm just kind of happy with it. You know what I mean? I don't like that the vibes are kind of so very similar to the, my past relationship really, but um, I don't know. Like I said, I'm just taking things day by day. I don't have any expectations of anything. So for me, I'm just focused on doing my schoolwork and getting in shape and eating right and, you know, getting my work done and just keeping my, my mind state just, you know, as positive as I can. You know what I mean? Because um, I've had a lot of changes, you know what I mean? Um, with stuff. Um, oh yeah. I forgot to mention how long I've been sober for. I don't remember how long it was last time I got on here, obviously, cause I would just know how long ago my video was, but anyways, we've been sober for one month, six days and 10 hours. Oh, I like how it actually picked it up there. So a month on this is 30 days. So we're at 36 days, 10 hours. So about 36 and a half days, which we're doing great on. Um, I really, don't know um i've always tried to like force myself to like socialize and go out and do stuff and i just don't really want to do it without drinking and so for me it's made kind of life a lot easier um just not drinking at all so i just don't do anything social at all and i'm not saying i have to drink to socialize like i could i couldn't do it i mean i can i absolutely am capable of it but I have so many other things I need to do that it's like, I'm always busy. And so, you know what I mean? Like, let's say today, like I woke up today, right. I went to Costco. I went to the fucking gym. Oh, I didn't go to the gym. That's like a fucking lie. I just lied on this video. Oh, I didn't mean to lie. That's normally what I do. But anyways, today I didn't do that. Um, today I woke up. What did I do? I woke up. I did go to Costco. I did homework played chess, I showered, I got ready, I cleaned, did laundry, dishes. Yeah, it was mostly just that. But that's not normally what I, that's not, that's like my end of the week routine usually. I would have went to the gym. They closed at eight. I think by the time I was done with my homework, it was like seven, 10. And I was like, I'm not going to the gym for 50 minutes. So I did exercise. I've been doing um, that little quest thing you see, the little headset thing. I've been doing the uh, FedXR boxing on it. I'm uh, not going to spend a bunch of time going over this, but you got this, put it on your head, and I got little, you know, little hand things too, you know what I mean? So I put that on your box. Uh, really cool, actually really nice cardio routine or whatever. Oh, yeah, 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 final. God, I knew, man, I bought too much shit to be honest, and this isn't even all of it. Um, oh, got organic, organ. To say organic, organic collagen plus superfoods. So, we're, this is going to kind of maybe I should wait for this to go into the next part. Um, anyways, with work, I'm excited. I go to work tomorrow. Um, yeah, I had court scheduled for my ticket, uh, my parking ticket. You know what I mean? Bad boy hashtag, hashtag bad boy. Um, I just went ahead and paid. I was like, fuck it. I'm not going to fucking, I'm not going to wake up and go there and miss work. I was going to have to miss like two hours of work, which just would have. It's like what I'm going to pay for the ticket anyways. So I was like, I'm just going to go to work, honestly. I'm um, not going to pay for the ticket and lose money at work. No, if I would have went to court, they would just charge me $15. So I just would have saved money, but I would have like missed work. And I just didn't want to deal with all that bullshit. Uh, I was going to have to wake up and go at 9 a.m. anyways. So I was like, it's not like I got to sleep in or anything. I'd have to go get dressed up and all that. Because every time I go, everybody else is dressed like homeless people there. And I can't do it. I have to like dress up. I just have to. I can't fucking go there and like dress like a homeless person. Um, yeah. Anyways, I dress up. I've been there like a million times now. I dress up. I go there. The judge charges me $15, waives my court cost. I pay $15. I waste like so much time doing it every single time. And it's fucking annoying is what it is. Either way, uh, I think we're over the work stuff. Um, yeah, I think we're done. Work is great. I mean, let's be honest. I did a shitload of overtime. Made a bunch of money. Yeah, life's good. Um, yeah, so anyways, we got this. We're going to be eating this. Uh, we're going to be making... Um, so we're going to be changing our diet a lot. We're going to be changing our exercise routines and our, our priorities. So I've always had this mentality with dieting and working out that I always had to like 
I don't know, I guess just like always eat too much food. And usually I do eat pretty healthy, but I will add things and I don't need to add. And so even though I'm like getting stronger and I don't like I'm getting in better shape, um, really the idea is going to be cutting down weight just in general. Um, so I'm going to be slimming down probably over this next 30 to 60 days. And a lot of that's going to be basically implementing um, more vegetables. I mean, obviously we know how to eat better, but, um, you know, we can cut out a lot of the shit we don't need out of what we're eating now, even though we're eating a lot of chicken and, you know, eggs and stuff like that and protein. Although we're, we're good on protein. We're good on a lot of stuff, but cutting out like cheese, um, you know, cutting out like eating fucking, you know, chicken egg sandwiches, so much mayonnaise, eating, using light mayonnaise instead. Again, like I said, cutting out the cheese, eating more vegetables, um, having a shake. We're going to be having that with like spinach. So we're going to do spinach that we're going to do a little fresh fruit, maybe like blueberries or strawberries or something, uh, something that's healthy. We're going to be doing like a shake every day. Um, you know what I mean? That way we get some protein, some vegetables. And then we're also going to be, I've been roasting, uh, broccoli, fresh, organic broccoli florets. I've been paying out the ass for these things. It's like $6 for a bag and it's not a giant bag. It's like four servings, I think. For me, it's like four servings, but I mean, it's whatever. It's like, but it's like organic, fresh fucking broccoli florets from like fucking, I don't even know. Um, oh my God, dude, I'm, I hate myself. I'm going to go grab one more thing I bought. I'm just going to show the bro. Hell, I'm not going to show the broccoli. But I spent 50 fucking dollars on this thing and I'm going to show it. Okay. Anyways, let me grab this real quick. All right, so we bought two bottles of this. Uh, so I was reading, so we got Bariani, cold extracted, unfiltered California extra virgin olive oil, EVOO. Um, they are organic, but they just don't get certified organic because they just sell out of all their shit. I was reading reviews on this. Like I was on Slick Dills and the guy's like, yeah, he's like, I, he actually lives in the town they make this shit in. And he's like, dude, he's like, I drop by there. And every time I drop by, he's like, they just sell out in person and they charge way more than they charge online pretty much anyways, because you go grab it. Uh, but anyways, Bariani, cold extracted, unfiltered California, the California extra virgin olive oil, you would think would be cheaper than the Italian because they fucking import it. It's not. The California shit's way more expensive. I don't know. They must be to have some crazy law out there that like makes this shit like super crazy pure. Um, but yeah, this stuff smells like it smells like pure crazy shit. I don't really even know how to explain that. <laughs> I don't know, man. Whatever. Uh, anyways, but yeah, we're going to be eating more vegetables. We're going to be cutting weight. So we're going to be getting slimmer. We're going to be getting thinner, baby. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be doing less emphasis on, uh, we're still going to be lifting weights. We're still going to be getting strong, but we're just going to be doing so much more cardio and cut chopping our diet down. So really cardio is going to be getting ramped up. I'm going to start running um, and I'm going to start eating more vegetables. Pretty much that's the gist of it. More vegetables, less cheese and fat people shit on um, bread and bullshit like that, less wraps, like less processed shit. Um, even though I'm getting like healthy wraps, like the processed food, we can cut down a little bit on that, uh, eat a little more vegetables, right? A little more cardio, the running, the boxing, you know, just all that shit. Um, been reading more. Um, I bought some films. I bought, man, I bought too much shit. I've ended up basically, I bought a few movies on 4k. Uh, I got American Psycho Uncut, uh, Scary Stories scary stories to Tell in the Dark. I only got that because I read that book like a million times as a kid. And um, Saw in 4K. I mean, I've already seen it like a million times. I'm never going to watch these movies by myself. Fuck, I bought another thing. I ordered these uh, camp like uh, padded outdoor chairs. 
So I got two of them. Um, they're usually $90 each. Um, and I got a deal on them. I ended up having paid $20 in shipping for each fucking chair. So my total was still like $90, but I got these two chairs off REI. Um, I figure when I do get into doing stuff, um, I want somebody else to come with me. So I bought another chair. So I have two chairs. I'll show you guys those when those come in, um, obviously. Um, but yeah, um, I think we went over work, we went over shit I bought. Um, oh my God, it smells good. <laughs> um, yeah, stuff I bought, work, money. Uh, money's good. Uh, everything's paid off. Uh, everything's good. Um, just working. Obviously, we missed two days of work. We've lost a little pay. But we're getting our bonus on our next check. So our bonus was basically not super crazy, but it made up for what we missed. So we pretty much, just, it's almost as if I just didn't bonus then really. Um, but yeah, um, in terms of like negative stuff, um, yeah, I mean, I don't really want to go over negative stuff. I mean, I guess I could like make myself, um, I don't know. I mean, obviously I'm kind of, you know, getting out of, uh, socializing as much, but like I said, I'm so busy with the school, the games, the working out, like the studying, all the shit, the reading and everything. It's like, I'm just always busy. So I just don't feel like I have a ton of extra time to just socialize and do shit. And without me drinking, I'm not losing a bunch of time back. Like where I'm like, Oh, let's hang out Friday night. Then I get drunk with some random chick. And then I lose all Saturday because I'm like inside, I'm like door dashing food and I'm fucking my diet up. And I spent like, you know, I mean, not a huge amount of money, but usually like a bottle of tequila, you know what I mean? Like you spend like 30 or 40 bucks, just like getting a couple bottles of Pedialyte, a bottle of tequila, maybe like a pack of cigarettes or something. The next day you spend like 20 or 30 bucks on food and you lose a whole day of productivity. And for me, it's just, I don't know, at some point I just, uh, I have better better stuff that I'm trying to accomplish in life. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, I will get back into stuff and I have thought about drinking. There's been nights where I'm like, man, I'm doing so good. Like, why not just get like, have a couple glasses of wine? Like, why are you even continuing the not drinking thing? There's no reason at this point I've already made it multiple times past 30 days. And to be honest with you, I just, a glass or two of wine wouldn't really hurt me, but I'm just not that kind of drinker. I just really don't drink like that. Um, I figure, I don't know. Like, I'm sure there's a reason why I'll drink soon, but I don't know what it is. There just hasn't been anything that's made me want to break my streak that badly. Um, in terms of like sad stuff and negative stuff, um, I mean, yeah, uh, I'm still going to therapy. Actually, I have therapy on the 19th. Um, so I've been doing therapy. My therapist is always booked like to the max. So I can only see her like usually once a month, maybe twice a month, but never, almost never twice a month. But, um, yeah, pretty much going on the 19th. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know if I really want to get into negative stuff because it really just hasn't been all that much stuff. I guess it's just more just ruminating and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like you'll think about like your last thing, you know what I mean? And just kind of go over it in your head. But for me, if I'm being honest, like, um, yeah, I don't know. I just don't really have anything to say about it. I just don't, um, you know, I'm just in different, uh, I don't know. Like I said, I'm just not the same, you know, me that would sit here and, um, you know, blame myself, uh, for everything. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't have that ability to do that anymore. Um, I don't feel like I'm at fault. I don't feel like I'm a bad person or I need to change anything or I could ruminate on the ideas of like, you know, blaming myself like I used to be able to do. You know what I mean? I used to focus so much uh, with my last relationship. Every time that we would split, I would always go back in time and think, you know, I could have done things differently or I could have done this or that. Um, and I just don't I just don't feel that way. Um, I don't feel that way anymore. You know what I mean? I'm glad I got to feel that way because at the time I wasn't happy, but, you know, it really forced me to, um, you know, put myself in a lot of different mind states and learn a lot of stuff about what I do and don't want. Um, you know, and again, I don't know. Like I said, I think it's just a matter of just evolving as a person, you know? Um, uh, yeah, I feel, I felt negative. I felt, you know, I've struggled with the concept of, um, 
you know, being betrayed or wanting revenge or stuff like that. You know what I mean? That's natural. I think, you know, I talk about that in therapy or whatever, but you know, I've always told myself like, you know, uh, I'm better than that. You know I mean? I didn't used to be better than that. You know, old me wouldn't have been better than that at all. You know what I mean? But I've tried to grow and, you know, I don't want to be somebody who, you know, I don't need to go online and, you know, talk shit about somebody or, you know, slash their tires or, you know, just fuck up their shit. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not, there's no reason for me to do that. Um, I don't want that. I don't want to be a part of that. You know what I mean? Like, that's just not where I'm at. Um, I have better stuff to do with my life. You know what I mean? I don't need to lower myself to a level like that. You know what I mean? To do those kinds of things. Um, I did talk with um, her, you know, ex-partner, I guess now, you know, they told me about, you know, what happened with them. You know, uh, I guess they were assaulted and abandoned, uh, you know, in another state, you know, and uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's a pretty shitty thing, I think, for somebody to have done to them. Um, you know, and I feel bad, you know, for somebody to be in that situation. You know what I mean? That's obviously, you know, her partner has uh, been a big issue of problems for my life. But, you know, I think things worked out uh, the way they did. You know, I feel like it all at some point makes sense. It all comes together, you know. And I don't know. Uh, you know, I feel bad, you know, that somebody had to go through that. You know what I mean? I, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't want anybody to get assaulted or abandoned, you know, in another, you know, another state, especially a shitty state like, uh, Louisiana. That's one of the worst places I've ever been to so just say uh, New Orleans is just a dirty, gross kind of place for me. I, it's just filled with gross people, to be honest. Um, I just think it's nasty. Um, uh, you know, it's just a gross place. And, uh, I don't know, man, I just, uh, who knows, man, but I'm glad she made it back safe. You know what I mean? Obviously we're not best friends or buddies or anything. You know, I just, you know, uh, you know, she'd message me or I talked to her, um, you know, it's about what happened and just, you know, I just told her, like I said, you know, what I thought, you know, to, to explain some of it, you know what I mean? Um, and just, you know, just, I'm, I'm glad she's all right. And I hope she, you know, is able to, recover from whatever you know and move on with her life or whatever the hell she wants to do um you know that's that's something that uh you know i don't want anything negative for other people i never want that that doesn't benefit me for somebody else to feel bad you know what i mean that's never been the goal for me um and a lot of that's like i said i uh i don't know that's really kind of it i mean i don't really have that much to say about it it's just that's i don't know man just life's fucked up sometimes and you know people get in these weird situations, but, you know, as somebody who's been through similar stuff, you know, I can kind of relate to that kind of idea that, you know, I don't know, but either way we are doing good. So, you know, like I said, we are, uh, want to check ourselves and hold ourselves accountable. So just so you guys know, we're going to show our weight on here. So there's no bullshit. I can't bullshit you guys. So I'm not going to be a liar. I'm going to weigh myself. We're going to do this every 30 days, I think. Or maybe, yeah, we'll do 30 days, maybe. I don't know what the fuck we'll do. But, yeah, we'll do 30 days. Anyways, just so I can hold myself accountable, I weighed myself in the morning. Uh, what do we weigh? We weighed 194.8. And that's after my morning poop, by the way. Not to be weird, not to be weird out there, um, but yeah, um, yeah, I think that's about it. I don't know what the fuck else I could talk about. I could talk about more shit I bought. I'm sure I forgot like some more shit, but you know, it's whatever. Um, yeah, um, yeah, I think that's really it. We went over work, school, life. I tried to talk about negative stuff. I tried. I tried to do it. You know what I mean? I tried, but you know, I didn't have too much juicy shit. I really haven't been doing all that much. Um, but I think Dave will be back here soon. We'll have struggle in here, have our fucking elevator back up and running. And then uh, we have some big news. I have some big news I'm going to be dropping uh, in November. So watch out for that. It's going to be really exciting. Uh, maybe we'll drop the big news the day I show my weight. So anyways, our goal, uh, we're at the 190, pretty much 195, to be honest. But we'll say 194 point something. Um, in 30 days, 
I would like to be at, I mean, realistically, I would like to be at 185. That would be nice. I think that's reasonable. It's realistic. And I think it's doable. Um, it's about two and a half pounds a week uh, from where we're at, right? Two and a half pounds a week. That's like cutting out a little bit of calories. We're going to be running. So I think it's very doable. Um, I would be cool with like 187, 185 to 187. I feel like that's a solid goal. Um, but yeah, this video has went on way long. Holy shit, man. Time has flown. Uh, wow, it's 131 also. Wow, I'm up past my bedtime, kitties. Um, either way, I don't really think I have anything else to talk about on here. Uh, if you watch this, thank you. Always love all you little weird fucks. Um, yeah, I'm sure I left some stuff out. Uh, I left a lot of stuff out, but this video went really fast, it seems. So, anyways, thank you if you watched this again. Uh, wish me luck in English comp. Wish me luck at work tomorrow. Wish me luck just with my diet. You know what I mean? Just not being a fat little fuck. Um, outside that, I am going to go make myself a little shake right now. Look at me. It's being healthy and shit. Anyways, have a great night.